Hi, this is Brian French and welcome to the Marketing Freak Show. Today's subject is how to become relevant to your best prospects on LinkedIn. Now, when it comes to LinkedIn, we do a lot of work on LinkedIn. We have over 40,000 members in our different groups and we have about, uh, I guess, about 8,000 people that we're connected to. And since we're owners of, of uh, groups on LinkedIn, we have the ability to um, you know, send out email messages that can have some important relevancy in people's lives. And so oftentimes I get people who will contact me out of the blue and they'll ask me to, to do them a favor. And this discussion and mini seminar today is why and how to become relevant with important people in your business. So it works on LinkedIn and it works well beyond LinkedIn in your other activities and endeavors. So let's get started. Point number one is when it comes to marketing you are not relevant when you start. What happens is that a lot of people think that just because that they have uh, some authority let's say in their office and that the receptionist uh, you know understands that you're the boss that when it comes to the digital world and that you're connected to somebody that you somehow have uh, some authority and, and you might think that way you know because you you have a certain title maybe you're a vice president maybe you're an attorney maybe you're um, the CEO of a company just because you're relevant in your world as you see it it's like stepping outside on the street. Once you step outside on the street and you start passing other people, you're just another face in the crowd. To start with, it's really important that you understand that you're not relevant. You're not relevant until the other guy says you're relevant. And so the remaining part of this webinar is about how to become relevant. Okay? So don't assume that uh, for whatever reason that you have any value to a person um, because you don't you haven't demonstrated it the first way that you can demonstrate that you are somebody who's worth talking to and communicating to is that you're gonna do a good deal of study on your best prospect and so it's really important that people realize that there's you know 200 million people on LinkedIn okay it's in extremely important to realize is that only a small percentage of those people who are in your world are actually important enough for you to do some serious homework. But when you find those people, do not treat them the same as any run-of-the-mill type of prospect. So it, it starts with doing a good deal of research you know who are the 10 most important prospects for you to reach in the next 30 days let's say you know important people do not have time to waste so it's kind of like you know Cinderella and remember when Cinderella and her fairy godmother came around and she wanted to go to the ball Cinderella really got ready okay she didn't go in her dusty clothes she got dressed in, you know, extravagant gown and and she had the, the mice turned into her uh, footman and she had the coach and all that kind of stuff. So preparation is critical and nearly no one that I come across really prepares and understands who's who when it comes to, you know, reaching out to other people. Okay, I mean, if you saw me at first glance, you might say, well, I guess he leads this group. But do you know I lead 14 other groups and I have 40,000 people and, I, you know, I deal with attorneys each and every day. And so to know how somebody can be important to you and to do that research should take a good deal of time. Okay, so consider yourself kind of like a, you know, private investigator or a member of the CIA. You need good research and data before you even start. Who are your best 10 people? And realize, these people, when people are, are important, they do not have time to waste. Point number two, do never, 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 never mention your products, your services, 
how you can help somebody when you communicate to them on LinkedIn. Guess what? When they look at your profile, they know in three seconds what you do. Okay? They may know your business more ways than you do. <laughs> But if you start pitching these people immediately on a product, it's a killer. They, they don't have time for that. You're basically spamming them. And, uh, you know, it, it's just a fast track to nowhere. And so d never mention what you do or what pr great, wonderful products you have, okay? Because they don't care. They really don't have time for that. Point number three here is where you start becoming relevant instead of mentioning all of your products and services and how you help people and how you want them to help you you want to basically show them what resources you have that could benefit them so let's say if I want to meet a an attorney in Tampa well guess what I have resources that are tailored for that exact purpose. So I have a website called TampaBayAttorneys.net and if you type it in, in in Google search it actually comes up in the first position. So that is a resource that I could say, hey, guess what? Go to your computer and type in Tampa Bay Attorneys as the keyword phrase. And as you can see, my website comes up in the first position. Would you like to participate? Would you like me to help grow your law practice by mentioning your law firm on that page okay so that is a very clear and concise way to show I have resources that could benefit you oh and by the way I lead a group in on LinkedIn and we have 7,700 members in the Tampa area and I come across a lot of people who uh, could use legal services from time to time and so I'm looking for a few people with you know, unique skills in the legal profession who I can refer business to. So it's really important that you realize that you display your resources clearly, concisely, and here's the other thing, never ever exaggerate. I mean, don't exaggerate that you're going to give people all these referrals because most people understand that's BS, right? And so don't exaggerate a thing. In fact, understate some of the things that you have. Make it, make it uh, something that you reveal later on. All these other things that you can do for them too. So create a little bit of mystery. When it comes to people who are valuable and who can really help grow your business, they really care about their reputation. Helping them groom their reputation is an important thing that you can do out of the box. You know some of the ways you can do that that are not time consuming first of all you could you could suggest I have these 50 people who I will uh, I see you have a seminar coming up on the 19th here are 50 people who I'm going to invite to your seminar so if somebody did that to one of my events boy they got my attention okay so that is a way that you've already preloaded how you're going to help somebody have that already prepared, have those 50 people lined up, get ready to hit the, the send button to invite them to somebody else's event, let's say. The other thing is that reputation is critical when it comes to influential people. So maybe you do some research, you see their background, you study their website, you look at their education, and then you do a rec you connect with them on LinkedIn and then you do a very thoughtful and creative and you know non vanilla recommendation for them one that's really has got some pop to it okay that really matters to people who are relevant in your world so if you do them a favor like give them a glowing and creative and thoughtful recommendation guess what you've now become relevant. Point number four, actually take action, okay? Saying that you're gonna do all these things to help Mr. Big is not enough. Within, let's say, 24 hours of making contact, pay it forward and actually 
take action and don't no longer talk. So let your actions do the this talking for you. You know that that's something that you should be able to hammer out in a short period of time. Point number five: create a pathway. So at the beginning, you should know the exact things and process that you're going to take this Mr. Big prospect through. Okay, so you you're going to have these three or four different points, and then when you establish credibility and relevancy with this person, you're going to say, "Here is the way that I think we can do business." And these are going to be really easy, simple, no platitudes, but very factual. So I'm going to call you next week, and we're going to do this, 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 and this. People do not like ambiguity. They don't like, you know, mystery ways to do business. They want a clear pathway. That's your job to create. Point number six. Tell these people exactly what you want them to do next. And so, do you want them to send an email blast to help you? Do you want them to set up an appointment with a few of their, you know, prospects within your niche area? Don't beat around the bush, okay? And don't don't make them have to come up with the creative solution to help you. The reason that you pick these people to begin with is that you had that figured out, and and don't be too polite. Be pretty frank and blunt because your time is also valuable too, especially after you've earned the credibility and earned the relevancy with them. And if you've done them a favor, tell them exactly what you want them to do next and within, let's say, the next 24 hours. Point number seven: You have to realize that people who are very valuable and great prospects of yours, their time is at a premium, and so they may not be getting back to you as quickly as you would like. Okay, because when you send an email to them, list all these great things that you're going to do for them, display your resources, you're going to want to hear back from them in five minutes. Well, guess what? It's not going to happen, because guess important people get a lot of email. They're in a in a lot of important meetings, so you might have to send two, three, four different emails. So again, change the little bit of the vocabulary. So it, you know, you went to the effort of, of changing the uh, discussion of of the message, and you can also follow up on the telephone. But realize if you Follow up on the phone. You better really, really, really have your act in gear and have it pretty well figured out before you start rambling away on the phone. So again, you need to be extremely organized, extremely focused, create that pathway, and you have to understand that and be patient that their time is is more valuable than yours. And so you're going to basically gently. Follow up in a very polite sense, more than just a reminder. Maybe you're going to add another benefit. You know,、uh, you just wanted to drop them a quick note and say, you know, here's another way that I found that I could be of of value to you, in another resource,、uh, and maybe another recommendation you do for them. So it's going to become if they keep on ignoring you, maybe you give them three added value perks that you actually produce for them. And then, if you don't get a response, you basically kind of、uh, move on. So, but your batting average should be so extremely high that it should be well worthwhile. This is a process, so you're going to be learning from this process what works and what doesn't work, what is a high value benefit that you provide, and what is not a high value benefit. So, you're going to want to improve, enhance, and The whole rinsing and repeat process, and this should be an excellent way to really gain meaningful traction with people who are very, very relevant. This is Brian French with the Marketing Freak Show. We focus on six major areas to grow your business through 
new marketing channels and here are those six things entrepreneurship we help people who are small and medium sized businesses grow their business in a creative managerial way we, we do handle business networking through both social media and conventional face-to-face -face type of networking so we coach people there we create websites we deal in what's called new media which is how to produce things like YouTube videos we do search engine optimization email marketing and so we have a variety of ways that we can help people in a significant manner we also were very uh, big leaders on LinkedIn we own 12 groups on LinkedIn we own a variety of attorney groups so we have about 10,000 attorneys in our in our various groups who we can kind of make contact with uh, effectively and then we are uh, leaders in other kind of uh, endeavors but guess what if you wanna deal with us and have us help you then you have to do some research on us as well this is Brian French you can reach me at 813 944-3190 and have a great day.